Hey you guys, what is up? Hey girl, hey, it is your girl Tosh and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, you guys, it doesn't need any introduction. We're going to be playing with the new, the brand spanking new Wet n Wild Star Luxe Holiday Collection. Now I did not pick up one of everything. I honestly just picked up what I'm going to use. Um, I've really tried to get into not buying everything anymore because in, in honesty, it's a waste. So we're going to do a full face of a Wet n Wild somehow. <laughs> and we're going to test out some of their new Star Luxe collection. I got an eyeshadow palette a glow palette and two of their lip glosses so if you're interested to see what look i come up with how the products perform is it worth your money or should you just pass just stay tuned all right you guys so i'm just gonna go right in um, I'm going to go right in with swatching everything for you first. I will leave timestamps down below. There's also a new feature on YouTube where you can just hover over where the little cursor moves across the screen and it will tell you what section of the video is what. So, we're going to start off by swatching the glosses. There are several of these glosses in the collection. And let's see here. I will link them down below. The link will take you right to them. That way, if you want to read about everything, I'm not going to include all of that in this video because it honestly just makes them longer because y'all know I can talk. So the first gloss is called Lunar Later. And it's just this really pretty sparkly white gloss here with some glitter glitter in it. It's got one of those wands I really like that is flat and holds a ton of product. That way you literally only have to dip in a tube one time. So I know it's hard to see guys, but it's just a nice, pretty, shimmery, clear gloss. So there's that one. Has a nice vanilla scent, um, but it's nothing too overpowering. So the next shade that I picked up is called You Matter, and that's actually why I got this one. It's just a nice, pretty, reddish kind of holiday shade. Same kind of wand. It's pretty. I pulled out a couple of the um, lipsticks in their collection, like regular collection, as well as liquid lipsticks. We're just going to use the glosses as toppers, I think. But let's go ahead and swatch the highlighter palette. I got the Starlux Glitter Highlighter Duo in, let's see, this one is in Star Crazy. I don't recall how many they had. Um... I honestly was not real crazy about this number right here. It's pretty and everything. It's just not my vibe, but I thought that the highlighter was really pretty. So once you swatch into the product, these stars are just a top overlay. So once you, you know, wipe all of that overlay off, it's just going to be like a sheer glitter, I guess. So that's what it looks like swatched. If you guys can see that, it's got little stars in it. But again, those are just an overlay. So let me see what it looks like without that. Oh, I mean, it's pretty. So right here, I swatched it without the stars. Again, not really my vibe. I'm more curious about the powder. So we're going to swatch the powder, which is on this side here. And y'all know Wet n Wild makes some bomb highlighters, but here's the problem with this one. I think that might be a little bit too dark for me. <laughs> So I do have my backup and I'm so lit, but let's see once you blend it. Yeah, that's kind of dark, guys. I would probably use that as an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow topper. There's no way I'm going to be able to highlight my face with that, but it's still really pretty. You could still, you know, use it for like a special look, like a holiday glam or, you know, holiday party. So the eyeshadow quad that I picked up is in Juke Butter Recognize, which I love that name. It's so pretty. <laughs> Juke Butter Recognize. All right. So it has four shades in it and I'm waiting on my hand to dry. So it looks like you get a matte, a semi kind of shimmer and two glitters, which we're going to use today. We're just going to do a real simple look with these. I don't remember how many color stories you are there, guys. Um, I was trying to pick up a different palette, but it was sold out, and this was like the next one that I thought was pretty. So I'm not going to lie, these glitters are pretty stunning. 
Now I highly, highly, highly recommend using a tacky eyeshadow base or a glitter glue with these. Um, otherwise, you're really going to have to build these up. Um, we're going to do the eyes first today because I am going to use one of the glitters. Um, I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow glue just in case you're wondering. Ooh. Hold on, I'm going to share. <laughs> wow, I'm really... Wow. So here are the mattes. There's one here. That's one swipe. And then the other one here. Also one swatch. One dip in the pan. Wow. Y'all, let's, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I do not have a eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. I mean, I suppose I could use their concealer. Let's use their concealer. So I'm using the shade, I think this is light medium. Yep, light medium beige. I've not used this forever. I actually had to purchase a new one when I ordered these because I didn't have their concealer in my collection anymore just because it was super old. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna set this with a little bit of the e.l.f. under eye setting powder just because um, I feel like this is really gonna crease. Not the shadows, the concealer. I should have specified. All right, you guys, taking a fluffy brush, we are gonna go into this shade right here and then of course this one and I think we are gonna go with this glitter today Whew, it just looks so pretty shades are nicely pigmented you guys you really don't need a ton on the brush I'm just trying to use a little bit at a time because well you can always add more you can't take away All right, you guys, so taking that deeper shade, we're going to go into the outer corner and deepen her up. Look at that. Hi. See you wet and wild. Bringing it. This is one of those soft formulas, the darker shade, I think, where you need a more like synthetic brush, I think it is, to blend it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just color switching it. Yes. So if you're going to pick up one of these palettes, I'm telling you, do you better recognize? <laughs> do you better recognize, girl? No, you need a more like natural, is it natural hair or synthetic? I'm going to look these brushes up. These are the Jessup brushes and I'll leave them down below because whatever these are, are these kind of brushes are what you need to blend this deeper shade. It's kind of that softer formula that can really be a pain in your wahoo if you don't have the right kind of brush to blend it and you know people will say oh it doesn't blend it's like no 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 no, it does blend you just gotta have the right brush that's all it's a beautiful formula though going in with the handy dandy finger we're just gonna take this glitter shade here after we apply this of course this is the NYX glitter primer I swear by this stuff you guys it will hold your glitter all day I just wait a few seconds, let it get nice and tacky. I'm just going to grab a little brush like this for my upper part. Y'all know I got them hooded eyes that like to act a fool. We're going to sparkle today, baby. You guys, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Just taking the brush in for those harder to reach areas on my lids. Just trust me, it looks crazy now, but we're going to bring it together. I'll be right back after the other eye. Y'all, I totally forgot. I was putting my moisturizer on. This is the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I do want to let you guys know quickly, they are having a massive Black Friday sale. They are seriously inexpensive. And what is crazy is their products work, you guys. Um... Like I said, they only do this sale once a year. This video is not sponsored. Um, but Good Molecules, you know, call me. <laughs> no, seriously, you guys, this is a really good uh, priming moisturizer. You can either use this as just your moisturizer after you use the rest of your Good Molecules, serums and eye patches and all of that wonderful stuff. Or you can use it as both your moisturizer and your face primer. Since we are going in with a full face of One and Wild today, I am going to be using their serum 
primer to prime my skin after this dries but you can check this out on their website guys it will be linked down below yes it is an affiliate link as you guys know i am on the good molecules pr list and every since i tried them i have been in love i literally use their skincare products daily um so you guys know that i rave about them i also do want to let you guys know before any of you click out of the video wait they are going to have some of their skincare fridges for 15 dollars you guys 15 bucks for a skincare fridge. It does have good molecules on it. I'm going to leave you a picture of mine right here. I love my good my good molecule skincare fridge. Um, it's really nice to pull your skincare out of the fridge and it's just like, ah, it really, really is like refreshing to the skin. It's better for your skin. It helps plump your skin like crazy, especially those of you who need that I just like didn't sleep last night, but you need that woke look same same so I really like to pull my good molecules eye patches out of there and apply them in the morning it's heaven you guys so anyways I just wanted to let you guys know that and now back to the wet and wild video all right so my good molecules skin or moisturizing skin primer is now on all right you guys so I really 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 want my makeup to last today so I'm gonna be taking the wet and wild photo focus coconut three in one primer water It smells so good wet and wild I know it's rare but if you're watching please can we get a jumbo size of this it is so good so going in with the wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation unfortunately I still haven't figured out my perfect shade so we are gonna mix amber beige and bronze beige so going in with a morphe brush we finally got a perfect shade but your girl forgot to put on her poor priming primer <laughs> so going in with the Haley's Beauty refined pore primer it's one of the best I'm just gonna prime my pore areas and then we'll continue foundation so just taking my wet and wild 3-in-1 photo focus coconut primer just dampening that sponge a little bit we are going to just press the foundation into the skin to give it a more seamless finish You guys, I absolutely love this drugstore foundation. It just gives you the most beautiful glow. You can build this up to full coverage, and it just looks beautiful on the skin. And this color matched me so well that I actually did not need to blend it down my neck. It's just a habit. Next, going back into the palette, we are going to finish the lower lash line. And as you guys can see, I'm just taking those two matte shades and we are going to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Moving into the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, I'm going in with the shade, I believe it's Medium Light Beige. And I'm just going to take that on the under eyes and in the high points of my face like down the bridge of the nose and uh <laughs> sorry guys the chin and the forehead area dance break look at me trying to vogue again so we're also going to mix in a little bit of the amoris uh my b4n yellow color corrector if you have seen that video then you guys already know this stuff is amazing. If not, I will link that in the iCards up above. But hopefully you'll stay and hang out for this video first. You guys, I highly recommend and really love this yellow color corrector. If you have dark bags, dark circles, purple, whatever on the under eye, I am telling you it will brighten it right up. You guys, I actually started to go into bronzer and I believe I do my forehead and I completely forgot um, to do my wet and wild contour. So just give it a minute. We'll get into the contour and then we'll set the face and then go back in with bronzer. This is one of my favorites from wet and wild. Unfortunately, this one is no longer available. This is the Queensland bronzer. Also, if you guys are curious, I'm going to do a shameless plug here. The black brushes that you see me using are from Jessup Beauty. A lot of you ask me about these brushes. I will leave a link down below where you guys can save. I think it's 10 or 20% off. FYI, they're also doing a Black Friday sale, so definitely check that out. This is not an affiliate link, so I don't know why it was a shameless plug, but y'all know how I am. 
Okay, so now we're going in with the Wet n Wild contour. I believe this is in the shade Deep. If not, it's medium. It'll be linked down below, though. Y'all look at that nose. <laughs> I wanted her super duper snatched. Look at the difference in the cheekbones, you guys. Don't let the cheap, affordable price fool you, you guys. This is an amazing contour. You can still find this at your local drugstore. And it's so creamy. It blends out so beautifully. And to me, it doesn't look super harsh and gray like a lot of contours. Just my opinion. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here comes my favorite part. Here is the yellow color corrector again. Bam, right down the bridge of the nose. It really brightens things up. I love, love this yellow color corrector. I think this one is probably my favorite that I found so far. Sorry guys, it seems like my battery died halfway through there some way. Just finished up contouring. I'm gonna set the face off camera. When I come back, we're gonna jump right into the blush, the highlights, and everything else. I'll be right back. So going into the Wet n Wild blush, I believe this is Mellow Mauve. Again, guys, it'll be linked down below. This is one of my favorite blushes. It's so, so beautiful, but so, so pigmented, so be careful. Do you guys see why I don't wear nice clothes when I film? Like, I always get makeup all over the place. I don't know how people do it. Speaking of clothes, y'all, don't mind the get up. <laughs> I did not realize what this looked like that day, and I was just relaxing. I'm comfortable, and I feel like that's really all that matters. This is a top that I really don't care if it gets makeup on. So, yeah, dance break. Now we're going to go into that Wet n Wild uh, Star Lux highlighter. I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to be a champ. Take one for the team, even though I know it's too dark. So, it didn't look terrible on my skin. I would definitely wear it again. I just don't recommend it, <laughs> if you will. So, here in a second, you will see me mix it with another one of... Uh, I believe Wet n Wild's highlighters, just to kind of balance it out. Alright, so I gotta pop in here real quick and say this highlighter is way too dark. Um, and I thought this was the lightest one, I don't remember. Um, I'm going to just go over it with I'm So Lit by Wet n Wild, one of my faves. Because, yeah. <laughs> taking my pawpaw sponge and kind of pushing it into the skin just to bring it down a notch if you apply too much highlighter that's a good way to again bring it down a notch so I'm just going to take that same highlighter by wet and wild and I'm so lit and use that for my inner corner highlight it just really opens up the eyes I'm telling you guys that highlighter is the bomb. You will never go through it all unless it's like your only highlighter. It's five bucks. I'm telling you, you have to get it. We're also going to take that same highlighter on the brow bone as well. All right, you guys. So I finally figured out what shade of lipstick I'm going to go in with. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cat Soup Matte Liquid Lipstick in Goth Wild, I believe. Super stunning. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, this was brand new. I actually had to open this to use it, and I was just floored by this color. Going in with the Profusion Lip Liner, I will leave the shade down below. Dance break. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to step the face down again with the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Coconut Face Primer Spray, Setting Spray. And now for the finishing touch, you guys, we are taking the new Wet n Wild Star Lux Lip Gloss in the shade Lunar Later. I really, really, really loved how this look came out 
and the lip color is really out of my comfort zone so I definitely encourage all of you to step out of your comfort zone once in a while you may just love the results and now for the final reveal <laughs> all right you guys so this is the final look I just want to start off by saying the lip I was not expecting um I found this shade from wet and wild in my collection it is the mega last liquid cat suit I think these are matte yeah matte liquid lipstick in the shade goth topic and oh my goodness I'm loving the lip shade now I honestly I don't know how I feel about it with the lip gloss on top I mean it looks really you know festive and holiday like you know something really glitzy glam like it just takes that lip shade to the next level but I do really like the matte liquid lipstick on its own I know it's not a part of this collection but I didn't want to just use a gloss I wanted to really amp it up so I want to talk to you guys about the product that I honestly could have did without and I don't really care for in this collection it is the Starlux glitter highlighter duo I just it's meh. I mean, I have so many beautiful highlighters in my collection from Wet n Wild. I just feel like this was unnecessary. However, for my beauties out there that have more of a deep skin, skin tone, girl, girl, this will look stunning on you. I mean, it's just, it's super creamy like all of the Wet n Wild highlighters are. And I just, I know this would look stunning on deeper skin. I mean, look at it. It is absolutely beautiful. But for me, it just wasn't, it wasn't a go. Um, I don't really care for the cream side either. I feel like they could have put a cream blush in there and it would have been banging. I don't know what this whole moment is about. I mean, it's cute if you want cute, but not to be funny, I'm a grown woman. I want pretty, you know what I mean? So not my favorite product. I'm probably gonna pass that along to one of my nieces. Wait, I only have one niece. I'll pass it along to my niece <laughs> and uh, continue with my other Wet n Wild highlighters. The product that I really, really, really enjoyed the most, and you guys know I don't wear a ton of glitter on my lids, this formula that they, I, I don't know what they did, but these mattes are next level for Wet n Wild. I am dying for them to come out with a bigger palette with this formula. There is something very different about this. It is beautiful. It blends beautifully. The colors are just wow. I mean, they're next level pigmentation. This is not the same formula that we've been seeing from Wet n Wild. And you guys know that I really do enjoy their eyeshadows. But this formula, there's something different about this. And uh, I think they might be onto something. So do I recommend the eyeshadow quads? Absolutely. Now, one thing that is not in the collection, I'm just going to mention this really quickly. You guys, I'm having a heck of a time finding my shade in their dewy foundation. I have three different shades here. It used to be um, bronze beige, which is the sky right here. But it just seems like it's so light for me. Like when I wear it on camera, it makes me look ashy. But otherwise, it looks really pretty on me and it does match. Now, the other two shades I have here are Amber Beige, which used to be my summer shade. So I thought, oh, if I mix these two, it'll be perfect. And then I also used to be able to get away with Classic Beige, which is actually dead on, but just with a little bit of pink in it or red maybe, I'm not sure. You guys let me know down below. Are you having a problem finding your shade in the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation? It drives me crazy because I love this foundation, but this is crazy to have to have three shades. like. Anyway, moving on to the lip glosses, I'm not surprised that I like them. They are the same Wet n Wild formula that I have grown to love in their lip glosses, where they are a nice, lightweight formula on the lips. They're not super sticky, but they're not not a little bit sticky, but they're just so comfortable. They're moisturizing, and they just look pretty. So, highly recommend if you guys are looking for new and affordable lip glosses. 
And yeah, I mean, that concludes my Wet n Wild video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I want to know down below, are you guys planning on picking up any of these products? If you are, it's super easy. Check the description box down below, guys. All of the links that I leave for you, I find the cheapest price for these products that I can, and then I link them for you. So definitely, definitely check that out. Also, if you guys have been interested in any of the Good Molecule stuff, definitely check out the affiliate link down in the description box. Um, also, don't forget Black Friday is coming, you guys. Lots and lots of people are having their sales. If you check my community tab on my main channel page, you will see that I've been posting a lot of things that I recommend. So if you're looking for something specific or a gift for somebody, speaking of gifts, guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but... BoxyCharm makes an excellent Christmas gift and you can do it in so many different tiers if you will and I don't mean like base box, premium, all of that. I mean you can buy like a three month subscription, you can buy somebody a one month subscription, you can buy them a whole year subscription. So definitely, definitely check that link out down below if you are looking for that gift to give somebody that literally already has everything or can buy it themselves give them BoxyCharm because you're going to get an array of products and it's like getting a Christmas present every month. So, all right, you guys, I want to say thank you as always for taking time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. I truly appreciate you guys and I love you to the moon and back. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye guys. Bye.